Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So today, we're going to take a look at Charles Vallow, Alex Cox, and possible charges that may be filed against Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell in Chandler, Arizona with the Maricona County, County Prosecutor's Office there. Thank you for joining me today. According to an officer who is close to the investigation into the death of Charles Vallow, he believes at this point they have more than enough physical evidence along with digital evidence to file charges of conspiracy to commit murder or second degree murder in the case against Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell. The charges against Chad Daybell would be accessory to the crime or pro, um, hindering prosecution. It has been released anonymously. He has not come forward with his name because it would jeopardize his career in law enforcement there by speaking out at this time. And the day, particularly around the supposed attack and the shooting and killing of Charles Vallow. According to EMTs, along with a Chandler police officer who was on the scene that day, the head wound reported to have been from a hit from an aluminum baseball bat by Charles Vallow on victim Alex Cox did not require a bandage, no cut or abrasion to, was seen to the skin, a bruise a half inch by a three quarter inch uh, appeared to, to in the upper crown area no, near the top of the head on Alex Cox. The me medical EMT who was there on the scene reports that it had to have been either a self-inflicted wound or a glancing wound and was not a direct hit. It was not oblong in area and was more circular in area of a wound and bruise. The wound required no medical attention, no follow-up, no x-rays were ordered or he nor was he sent to the actual hospital. Alex Cox was seen at the scene by EMTs and was seen walking around and, with, and talking with officers and joking with them right along with what how Lori and acted when the officers broke the news that her ex-husband, soon to be ex-husband, was dead in her living room. The medical medical team offered to take um, Alex Cox to the, the to the hospital to be followed up you know, for a checkup. He did not. When asked if he had blurry vision or if he had any other side effects, headache, he required he said to the EMTs there on the scene that. His head hurt a little, but he would be okay. Party. Pool party that Lori Vallow had the night following Charles' death in her home. The next door neighbor, who can be seen walking up to the scene in officers on body cam footage, when officers arrived to take the report of the shooting of Charles Vallow, reportedly seeing Alex Cox later on in the evening laughing and talking with guests out near the pool and barbecue area in the backyard. It, he was not sure if Alex Cox had stayed the, stayed the night at the home or had left sometime later on. He did state that Lori's truck did leave for, at some point around the time that other guests had been leaving. This is unconfirmed. He did not make this statement to anyone with the Maricota County Prosecutor's Office. Bill 
murder charges be filed against Lori Vallow and will charges be filed against Shad Daybell in the murder of Charles Vallow. At this point, right now, it appears that the Maricopa County Prosecutor's Office is waiting to see how the charges play out in Idaho. According again to the officer who spoke off the record on this, they do believe at this point they have more than enough physical evidence along with digital evidence that shows that there was a premeditation or a plan to get rid of Charles Vallow. Those are his words and of course they are off the record but are they guilty of killing Charles Vallow to get rid of him because he was in the way of Lori's mission. We know that Charles and Ryan Joseph Ryan had both been deeply worried about Lori's mental state. Joseph Ryan had made statements through his attorney and filed in court records where Lori had said that she would rather die than give her children even for visitation over to Joseph Ryan, mainly Ty Lee. And when it came to Charles Vallow filing for sole custody of, you know, at that point, little um, JJ, she knew she would lose that case. Charles had to go. He had to be out of the way. So did Joseph Ryan. But will murder charges be filed? Where are the murder charges? I know. It seems like it's taking forever. The wheels of justice turn slowly. And in this case, they want to cross all their T's and dot all their I's before they file charges. So that is where we are today. Two statements off the record released about the e from the EMTs and the officers there on the scene. But at this point, I think we've all made up our minds out here. The evidence just doesn't seem right. It looks like Charles Vallow was set up and executed, just like the threats that he had, he had levied against Joseph Ryan. And let us not forget that Alex Cox actually attacked Joseph Ryan at one point in the past and using a stun gun Alex Cox ended up doing a couple of months in jail for the attack, pleading down to the lowest form of assault and battery. And yes, he was able to keep his gun rights because he pled down. If he would have been found guilty of the full charges that were originally levied against him, he would have lost his ability to own and possess a firearm, which he would later use to kill Charles Fallon. And it wouldn't have much mattered, would it? Because we already know that Alex Cox was most likely the person who brought through, you know, and did the deed to get rid of both of the children. Most likely at the orders of Lori and Chad. Thank you for joining me today. And you stay safe out there. Let us not forget, he attacked Joseph Ryan once before from a hit to the head by aluminum baseball bat to Charles Vallow, from, from Charles Vallow. The head wound reported to have been from a hit to the head by um, Alex Cox.